Welcome back everybody to the Vinyl Vault. Today we'll be doing another Album of the Week segment where each of us pick an album that we think everyone should check out. Uh, today you'll be starting first. Yep. What is your Album of the Week? I have Nirvana's live performance of MTV's Unplugged. And this was performed in 93, but actually the album was released in 94 after Kurt Cobain died. And um, yeah, what's cool about this one too, uh, actually Tim got me this one. I did. Um, so this is a purple vinyl, and I got it last week. So it was it was after we we filmed our um, colored vinyl ranking top five. This would have made my top five for sure. So. Yeah, I think that one definitely <laughs> would have made it in. But um, yeah, I think this is really cool. And some songs that I like off this, I love the whole performance is great. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. But um, some of my favorite songs off of this. I would say our um, The Man Who Sold the World, which is a David Bowie cover. Um, Dumb, I like Polly on a Plane, Something in the Way, Oh Me, which is a Meat Puppets um, Yeah, a ton cover. of covers on this album. Um, All Apologies, and Where Did You Sleep Last Night, which is um, Lead, Lead, Belly? Lead, Belly's. Lead Belly's cover. Yeah, so overall, I mean, my thoughts on the album, I think it's fantastic. One of the greatest live performances of all time. Um, and it was a really influential um, performance for me growing up as a kid. Uh, really, w one of the one of the albums that really got me into music was when I first saw Nirvana's Unplugged. So you can't go wrong with this. It's one of the greatest live uh, concerts. Um, I highly recommend getting on vinyl. I think just listening to the live concert on vinyl and, and live albums in general on vinyl are really cool. Yeah. Um, in, in my opinion. But uh, shall I do mine? Yes, you shall. So mine is actually from the same year <laughs> as hers, 1994. Uh, coincidentally, we picked the same year. And mine is the soundtrack to Pulp Fiction, a Quentin Tarantino film, filmed in 1994. Um, I usually don't get into soundtracks, but I this is one of my favorite movies of all time. I should wear the Pulp Fiction shirt uh, for this <laughs> video. But yeah, this is one of... Um, my favorite movies of all time, so I figured when I saw the soundtrack, I was like, well, let me get into it, let me dig into it. And some of my favorite songs on here are Miserloo, If Love is a Red Dress, and I would say Lonesome Town. Oh, Son of a Preacher Man, too. Son of a Preacher Man's fantastic. Um, another cool thing about this soundtrack is a lot of the dialogue from the movie is in here. So certain tracks are just dialogue of, of Vincent Vega or, um, or Uma Thurman's character. Um, just sort of talking or, or you know, like they do in the movie. So I think it's cool. It's cool transitions. You start with this simple dialogue and it goes into the next track. And it sort of tells the story of the movie um, throughout the, the soundtrack. So I think it was just a really cool pickup. It also came in a really cool... Uh, sort of greenish yellowish vinyl so there's more appeal there um but yeah i this is the first soundtrack i think i have in my collection and after listening to it front to back i, I think i really do want to get into um get more soundtracks and just listening to the to those so yeah those are our picks of the week um definitely check out nirvana's unplugged and definitely check out the Pulp Fiction soundtrack if you want two really cool albums to uh, either have on vinyl or just to listen to in general. But yeah, those are our picks of the week. Like, subscribe, comment uh, if you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. See you Bye. later.